Then of patrol and guard. On parade, 136 inspectors and rank of fire, 18 SPOs. Ready for your address, sir. Let me know the standard matter, sir. Thanks to God for making us to be alive and healthy on this weekend this year. You know the crisis, you know the security situation we have in this country now. And most of you now, you are on guard to so many big men, so many companies. I just want to warn you seriously. Want to do what? Your loyalty is to the uniform. You are there because you are police officer. And it's the uniform that people recognize and they have the authority. It's the uniform. Most of you you turn yourselves down to slaves, to those that are your guardian. What you don't know your power is that without you, they can't move to anywhere. Do you know that? Yes, yes, sir. Without you, they can't go to anywhere. You enter a vehicle, let one there enter the vehicle. I tell I say, ah, okay, I just have dream. Oh, I have to go and see my wife now, now. That journey, he or she will not go. Not be so. Yes, sir. That's all security. We are in Christmas now. So many parties, so many activities will be on. So many activities, so many parties, so many occasions will be on. And some of them will even want to leave Lagos and go to their villages to go and make it to the younger and carry police corps. I'm a big man for Lagos. See police. See my ugly inspector. See Anastasia. See the girl we carry. To do that one now in the village. And they'll be happy. They even use you to harass, to intimidate others in the village. When it's coming now, when these people that they grew up together are coming. The police breaking on their meal. Don't give order. You too, go to do like this. Ah, go. why? You know the eastern parts and some parts of the northern of this country. All those areas are hot beds. Police are being hunted. Just yesterday, I boy states. You see, keep police officer there. Ambush. But the city of boys, my cosmates. The city of Anambra, we are all cosmetics. The city kill. They are looking for police to kill. And what did we do? Because we are joint agents of government. They know they cannot go to Alasa here to go attack the governor. No talk of going to Abuja to also run to go the president. So we are the governor and the president on the ground. That's why they attack us. So I warn you seriously, never should any of you step out of this Lagos State Police Command with any of our principal. Never. And I repeat, once you do that, I remove your uniform. Don't ever follow anybody out of this command. Don't ever follow any of our principal out of this command. You hear me? Yeah. Whatever I want to do, let him want to bury his mother. Let her want to bury her father. Don't ever step out of this command with anybody, with any of your principal. If you see, he or she does not like you, let her return you. Then you go to the village and go and put police, put clothes on people are calling them police. Last year, I mass, there are three weddings in the east where they kill so many people there during the wedding. Do the wedding, do Christmas like this. Because this is the period they put so many activities 
into action. We've been seeing so many Victoria cars flying up and down. And politics is around. 2023 is already in. We'll be hearing some people now. I want to be governor. I want to be president. I want to be this. So I belong to this party. Some have been crossing from one party to another because of 20 what? 23. And most of them are sponsoring these political people. They are sponsoring the politicians. And it's you they want to lose. It's you. If you allow that not to happen, the blood of that people will not only be on you, will be on your children. That money you are collecting in order to do bad to another fellow human being. That cause will not stop on you alone. So that's why I said I will call you. I'll let you know. Not last week, some of our officers went to Anambra. They were ambushed on the road. We are still looking for. Since we have seen their corpses, three. We don't even know whether they have been killed, whether they have been abducted, whether they have been held hostage, whether they are somewhere in the bush, but seven of them went. Four of them survived that attack because they are alive. The remaining three, whether they have survived it, whether they did not survive it, we don't know yet. We have not gotten the reports. Anambra. They are attached to Novicha group. They said they are going in the morning with the convoy to go and pick the man. The man with the same blood. So he couldn't fly his police. The same police go by, go for them. He, for his life, he flew there. They want to go to the airport to pick him now. They are tied on the road. And they left Lagos without telling us the command there. And they are not to travel. Outside they go with him. But because they have been giving something, they have been giving money. That money now, where is the money now? Where are the men now? Their family are crying. If my husband die, tell me if my husband don't die. They can tell because they don't die. If my king die, tell me. They can not see my minus one. They follow the parents. The wife, my husband, I tell me, say my wife, my husband, I don't die. So I go do the morning, I will continue my life. I said, God, do it. But now, we've not seen them. We've not seen their corpses. We don't know where they are alive, whether they are dead. We can't pronounce them dead because we've not seen their corpses. So, I was telling that the families are here. The families were here yesterday. So, what do we tell the families? So, what do we have to tell them? The signal from Anambra has not confirmed. But if we are not left here, that will not happen. And the CP and Ambra said it. I think that the support that led the team when they passed the first checkpoint with the military, that the military told him that you people should not go this way. There is a dangerous road. It's early, too early for you to move past this road because insurgents always, always bound roadblock there. And the support. He said it by himself to the CPO that the soldier told him that he must not apply that route that time. Person on the ground has told you don't follow this way. An ESP. So what he told him, he said, ah, since one of the three vehicles, so don't cross, they can't leave that vehicle. Why would you minimize the casualties? And if the vehicle just pass the checkpoint there, it wouldn't have gone far. They cannot call you to come back. Because you are going to come for it. This distance is not that you are at police calling in Kenya here, one is already at very land. It's not going to come for it. You can't even be at police calling in Kenya gate and your convoy personnel at Kenya under the bridge. No. So that means that you'll, be seeing, you'll still be seeing the vehicle. When you stop and fly the vehicle early that morning, you know that you stop. You are not called the person on phone. Turn back. They attack them. 
Four of them fraser the bush with the ASP. Two of them escaped with their arms. The other two without arms. Though cleverly, they hid their arms somewhere. By the time they now got to the command, so now the third car team now to follow them. To go and see where the arms are hidden. So they are able to recover the two arms. Four of them escaped through the bush. They find their way now to the police station. Two of them with arm. The remaining two without arm. Where are your arms? Say, oh God, we hide them somewhere. You know the place? Say, yes, sir. And now raise the team to follow them. They went to recover the two arms. But now the other three policemen and the civilian driver of the vehicle, four of them are missing now. Hmm. Missing in action. Up to now. Is that death? Not available death. Is that attack? Not available attack. Is that journey they went? It's so not a horrible journey. And that's why I'm warning you. Don't embark on a horrible journey. If the person said, you want to follow him to village, so I'm not following him to village, so I'm going to dismiss you, let him dismiss you. If I'm not following him to the village, I'm going to deport you. So they came to me now anyway I'm going. Okay? They're not giving to me make I follow you entire toilet. I'm not even following enter college. You should be able to stand. You are a man. Remove this uniform. We all have the same thing. But body as man being, as men. Go and do what you ought to do. And anywhere you are going, remember your home. Remember your family. Remember the people you are going to put into trouble. Remember the people you are going to put into agony. Never leave this command to escort anybody to anywhere without a proof of help. Those who they've gone, they've gone on legal duty. And one thing I will do is that I will try them in absentia and get them dismissed. Lagos is safe. But not other states are safe as Lagos. It's not by our power, it's by the God Almighty. Amen. So Lagos is safe. And those things that are not safe, not because we are righteous, they are sinners. No. And because Lagos is safe, so many activities are going on in Lagos. Because Lagos is safe. So don't leave a safe place to go to and because of money. If not withdraw you, don't let you know. <laughs>